Hey y'all, it is Sunday, the 20th, let me see, first. Got Maxine, you guys, look, she got a haircut Friday. My husband got her this short, short cut because he don't want to deal with her hair. <laughs> Stop it, Maxine. Anyway, so today has been a good day for me, guys. Um, okay, Friday wasn't such a great day. Saturday was, mm, I had to take pain pill last night. But today has been a good day. Went to church, had an amazing service, you guys. We actually have an evangelist, evangelist, I think his name was Savala. And um, so we got out of church early and I'm just, and I decided to come outside and make a video because it's beautiful outside. It's sort of cold to me. It's probably really not cold because I think looking at the, yeah, I don't know. I seem like it's, sorry, you guys, I think it's like 57 degrees, but I'm always cold. So don't. Don't, you know, trust me about how cold it is. Because my husband said it's beautiful. And I'm like, it's freezing. I need my heat and blanket. But so tomorrow, you guys, is my last full day. And then Tuesday is my last day. And I get up at 1 o'clock. So tomorrow, my boss want to have a going away lunch or whatever for me at the job. So we're going to do that because, you know, Tuesday... I live at one, so once everybody take their lunch break and they get back, I can just sign out and clock up for the last time. That is bittersweet. I mean, I'm just tired and I'm in pain a lot. And so I think it's time to take care of myself. I've been dealing with this cancer stuff for about a year and a half now, doing treatments and everything and going to work. I had to have, I mean, I have cut back on my job. It's funny, you guys, because when I first started that job, it was September 17th, 2020, is it one, two, something like that? And um, when I first started, I was just a title clerk. And later, about not even a year later, then I got promoted to customer service supervisor. And then after that, I got promoted to assistant manager. And then I then I had, you know, cancer. Then I found out then I had cancer. And so I started off from working three days to four days into five days when I got the assistant manager position. But it was just hard to do the five days. I started getting more sick. And it just came to the point. I think I hadn't even done a job for maybe two, three months, if that. You know, cause I was doing it before I even got the position, the title. But I just, you know, explained to my boss, I can't do that. I'm exhausted. And so I went down to my old job because she hadn't put anybody in my old position yet. So I went back to customer service supervisor. And then she hired some other girl that she knows to come in and be the assistant manager. So, as I said, it's been bittersweet. I've been through the chain of command. Did not make the manager, to be honest, I would not want to be a manager at the DMV because that's a whole lot of always being there all the time and everything is, you know, solely on you. And I'm to the point where I just want to enjoy my life. I don't want to spend all my time inside, like working inside. Yeah, you need money to work, but I figure I got enough money, you know, like work to get the bills paid off. That's awesome. Not going to be a millionaire or whatever, but my bills are paid. And I can do a little, you know, sometimes go out and do something. Right now, my main focus is focus on God, my family, and just live the best life that I can. So that's what I'm going to do. So then Wednesday, you guys, this coming Wednesday, then I start the Luthathera radiation treatment. So that one, I know I told you guys I was so nervous about and concerned it's sort of scary because I've been doing the injections for all this time. And just to do something that's like radiation sort of scares me. I've already told my oncologist that I will not do chemo. That's something that I just refuse flat out to do no matter what. I just won't do it. But I prayed about it and so, and so has my husband. And I have a peace about it. So... I'm at peace right now with you guys. And that's all right. It's a journey. And I just feel I'm believing for a miracle, believing for a healing. But if I'm not healed in this time, lifetime, I will be on the other side. 
you know? What is it? So I don't think about that stuff. I think about the now. I, if I feel good, I go do stuff with my husband. We go out, you know, walking or going, you know, Branson or something. Nature walks. Be, you know, you know what I can. So and I do have my, I have two of my daughters that's going to be visiting in a couple of weeks. So they'll be here, I think, exactly almost two weeks after my first treatment with the radiation. I will be fine, you know, not radioactive then when they come visit because I want to see my granddaughter, my grandson. And then, so then they will leave. Cause I think one of the daughters is staying for 20 days. So then my next, their, you know, radiation would be sometime in June because it's six weeks after the first one. So that would bring it June, the June 19th, I believe. And then after that treatment, a couple of weeks after that, I should be getting my new puppy, you guys. So I'll introduce you to the new puppy. I do not know what her name's going to be because I want to wait till I see her. I have all these names that I want to name the puppy. And I'm thinking like Alaskan names because my husband loves Alaska. Actually, I do too. It's really beautiful there. You guys got to try it, especially in this, especially like Christmas time. That's where, that's when we went to um, you know, Fairbank, Alaska to visit. Beautiful. North Pole, Alaska. Beautiful. Um, so, so names I was thinking about was like Luna, Celeste, Aurora. I was like, thank it, Don. Can you just wait to dog? I said, I'm trying, I'm trying. And I'm going to be so disappointed if that dog do not look like the Luna, you guys, or a Celeste or an Aurora. Who knows? So, but I will introduce the new puppy to you guys. So, I'm excited about that because I got a lot of projects I want to finish. I want to finish up some quilts that I have started. I need to finish those up and I need to build this dollhouse. I've always wanted a dollhouse, a Victorian one, and I'm building me one. It's not like the big one I was showing you guys that I wanted. It's like the junior size of it. So my husband and I are going to put it together and then I bought like wallpaper and flooring that I could put on it. And then, I'm, then once that's all done, we get that built. I'm going to go online to look up like, you know, look, you know, on furniture for that time period on Amazon and get the little figurines of the Victorian, you know, husband, wife, you know, children, maybe a dog <laughs> to go in there. So I'm really excited. So I don't plan on just laying here, just waiting to die because that's not me. I'm going to live and I'm going to stay busy. And I'm still going to do my ladies lunch with the ladies at the church because I do that once a month. We didn't do it this month because I just been tired and a lot of things going on and you know next month in may i will probably have one while my daughter is here and but then in august i'm having a ladies tea party that's going to be our our august lunch for the ladies but during that tea party you guys everybody's going to be dressed in victorian era so i told everybody they can dress from the 1800s all the way down to the 1920s I don't care what era they, you know, what they, you know, they want to go into, whether it's the Edwardian era or, you know, even the 20s, you know, the flappers or any of the other eras that they got, in, you know, in between that time. Just be real with it. And a, and a lot of them are telling me they're all excited. They got their outfits ready. Some is still looking, going to thrift stores, looking and stuff. So I'm going to stream that one a little bit up so you guys can see because that's going to be fun. So I better get inside, you guys, so I can finish cleaning up. I, I'm trying to, you know, finish and prepping what I need during the time when I'm doing this treatment, when I have to quarantine for my husband for those three days. So I'm trying to get myself prepared and get the things that I need so I don't have to do it on Tuesday night. So I'm doing a little bit like today, and then tomorrow, and then to Tuesday. So then. Wednesday morning because I have to be at the hospital like at 7 45 in the morning and they said it's going to be like an all day I'll probably get done around four and I will actually I'm going to do that like a story or a reel on here I got to set up my phone you know so I can do that and you guys can actually come with me and see everything that's doing I mean, that I'm going to be doing so so then it'd be a first time for me and a first time for you guys 
So I see you guys later. And y'all have a blessed evening. And I'll see you guys Wednesday.